what is up everybody happy sunday and welcome back to the everything crypto youtube channel where we bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets now it is time for the weekly chronos coin update and there are three big things i want to get through in this video with the first one being the platform upgrades and certification that crypto.com has received in fact the first virtual asset provider to receive the certification that i do believe will drive a ton of user growth and price appreciation for crowcoin then we got to talk about the first official rug pull on the crypto.com nft platform and we're going to wrap things up with a very big announcement regarding an upcoming chronos chain space metaverse game that does involve player versus player racing a play to earn aspect as well as the ability to own and upgrade your nfts to improve your passive income from this game so plenty of stuff to break down in this video and without further ado it is time to sit back relax grab that morning cup of joe and enjoy the show so first of all, I did just want to ask that if you've not yet hit that sub like and notification button, please consider doing so and joining the Everything Crypto squad. And with that, we're going to hop right in here with the question of the day. Now, today's question is, do you think Crow will hit 20 cents this year? Let me know in the YouTube comments down below. I asked you guys last week if you think that Crow can hit 10 cents this year. I myself do think that the next big price level for Crow is at that 10 cent level. And we're going to break that down on the technicals in just a second. But that's why I wanted to ask this week do you now think that crow can double from that 10 cent price target and hit 20 cents and i am seeing some comments on the tweet people saying they believe that crow can hit 30 40 maybe even 50 cents and listen you guys know that i am a big crow bull here i am a big believer in this project it is one of my favorite altcoins on the channel and that is why we do cover it on almost a daily basis as well as give it its own weekly market update but i personally don't think that crow is headed back up to those higher levels this year and to put things into perspective, I mean, long term, I think if the crypto.com team executes that crow can be well over a dollar in the long run, also depending on if they do any future burns. I mean, you never know. But bottom line for me is I simply don't think crow is going back up to 40 or 50 cents this year personally. And to put things into perspective here, I mean, from the current price of about eight cents on crow, even if crow was to rally back up to that 20 cent level, that would already represent a rally of about 150 percent from current prices. And from that five cent level that would be almost a 400 percent rally from this the where it started on the year right so in the middle of what is definitely not the best macroeconomic environment considering that the next bitcoin having is not occurring until 2024 and sticking to the thesis that i am expecting a green year but not anything ridiculous i think that some of the more outsized gains are going to begin next year i don't really think that crow is going to make its way anywhere up to even that 40 to 50 cent range and again i mean you guys know that I love this project, but I'm not here to pump my bags to give you guys unrealistic price targets for clicks and for views. And although this may not be the most popular opinion, I'm going to keep it real with you guys and tell you exactly what I am looking for on the charts. So I have said it last week and I will say it again. I absolutely do believe that Crow is headed back up to that 10 cent level. And the reason being here is 10 cent level is a key area that we did play off throughout the previous year. This was, in fact, the bottom that Crow did find, the temporary bottom, at least, that Crow found back in June. And from this 10 cent level, we called out three swing trades that it did make for some very nice profits here. The first one from 10 cents up to 15 cents. The second one, once again, from 10 cents back up to 12 and a half cents. And then the third time here, Crow went again from 10 cents back up to 12 and a half cents. So, playing off of this 10 cent level throughout the majority of 2022 was, in fact, a pretty good play for some quick swing trading profit in the bear market this is until crow did in fact break down at that 10 cent level coinciding with a lot of the bank run fud as well as the bank so 10 cents it did act as a very nice area for making some swing trades taking some profit throughout the bear market that is until it did actually break down here in november coinciding with a lot of the crypto.com insolvency fud as well as the bank run that did occur and this is when crow coin collapsed from 12 and a half cents down to five and a half cents so you can see here that in the matter of just over a week crow actually declined here about 56 percent and we did say that five and a half cents would in fact act as the next level 
level of support. And reason being here is if we actually go back to late 2020, early 2021, you guys are going to notice that this five and a half cent level has been a very key area for Crow. In fact, the first time it did go ahead and test this level as support on two different occasions, Crow then proceeded to rally here from five and a half cents all the way up to 25 cents, making for a rally of just over 350%. And it had not yet revisited those levels since uh, since November of last year. So I did suspect that five and a half cents would act as support. So far, it has been the area where buyers do opt to step in. And we did call out this trade on our Twitter here from five and a half cents all the way up to the seven and a half cent range, give or take, which did make for a rally of about 37%. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, definitely go ahead and check out the link in the description down below. Now, once again, here in late December, early January, we actually saw Crow sitting back at this five and a half cent level once again making for a very nice buying opportunity now from this level here crow has so far rallied over 40 percent year to date currently sitting at just over eight cents and i do believe that in the coming weeks provided that the rest of the crypto market does remain bullish that crow is going to make its way back up to this 10 cent range we've talked about this a lot with bitcoin and its 200 week moving average something that does historically act as a strong level of support and a magnet for the price action should also act as a strong level of resistance and a magnet for the price action meaning that if Every time Crow bounced up here, it came back to retest 10 cents as a level of support. Every time Crow was bouncing here, I do believe that it will make its way back up to 10 cents eventually to test that as a level of resistance. So I do think that Crow is headed here in the coming weeks. We also do have the 200 day moving average sitting at just under 10 cents, sitting at 0.0990. So right under that level, once again, another indicator that I do think Crow is going to want to come and retest. And once we have hit that level, I will, of course, update you guys on what I am looking for next based on the price action and just how the broader markets are behaving at the time. So now that we have the charts out of the way, I do want to hop into the fundamentals here for Crypto.com and Crowcoin. And the first piece of news being a tweet that CEO Chris Marzalek quote tweeted saying security first, referencing the fact that Crypto.com has achieved two firsts in terms of certification for a virtual asset platform. And we're going to break this down a little bit more in depth here because a lot of people don't seem to care about security certifications in a bull run. But after the bear market where multiple centralized exchanges have collapsed and basically taken customers money, obviously now people are beginning to concern themselves a little bit more with the security of their funds on these platforms. And that is why I do believe that Crypto.com has been working so much on basically having the highest standard of security. So they say here, Crypto.com trusted by more than 80 million customers worldwide and the industry leader in regulatory compliance security and privacy announced today that it has now been certified with ISO 27017 for security in the cloud and ISO 27018 for privacy protection in the cloud as audited by SGS an internationally recognized certification authority and I'm actually going to walk you guys through some on-chain data to show you guys how Crypto.com getting this security compliance and maintaining their position as an industry leader in regulation has actually got them a, a great amount of inflows in terms of customer assets onto their platform. So it says here, these two certifications, both first for a digital asset platform, demonstrate Crypto.com's focus on cloud service, blah, service security for users and its commitment to ensure customers' personal data are processed securely. They say here security and privacy continue to be a core focus for us, particularly as we scale our services globally through the use of cloud infrastructure. ISO 27017 is a cloud specific security standard that provides guidelines for information security controls applicable to the provision and the use of cloud services, ensuring that the certified organizations are providing a more safe and secure cloud based environment to reduce the risk of security problems and comply with information security management system certification and ISO 27018 is the first international standard for cloud privacy giving privacy specific guidelines to organizations who are acting as privacy data processors and that's exactly what they are as they obviously are using your data to make sure that you are allowed to have an account with them and this ensures that as a privacy data processor and controller that they are enhancing their information security by assessing risks establishing objectives and implementing security controls for protecting personally identifiable information in public clouds now keep in mind that crypto.com's implementation of its ISMS 
PIMS and BCMS are audited at least once a year by third-party certification bodies to ensure continued compliance with multi-ISO standards. And they end off here on a note here with the from the CEO Chris Marzalek that security and privacy are foundational pillars of their commitment to their 80 million users globally, and they will continue to invest in ensuring the highest standards for safety, security, and privacy. Now, keep in mind here that Crypto.com was already successfully certified as the first virtual asset platform to achieve ISO 27001 and ISO 27701, and in 2019 and 2020 respectively, and ISO 22301 Business Continuity Management in 2021, as well as conforming to the NIST cybersecurity and privacy frameworks. So they were already a ton of first year for this virtual asset provider in terms of the security and certification, and they have not stopped. They continue to try and build trust in the community and show people that yes, you can trust crypto.com with your funds on their platform. And the reason this is important for Kronos Coin is because obviously we know that crypto.com does incentivize you to actually hold Crowcoin here for benefits on their very own app. And then the big kind of, big kind of incentives here, if I can actually get over to the website, uh, crypto.com. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys some of the incentives here they do offer for actually having Crowcoin. And the first one here is the Crypto.com Metal Visa cards, which do have some very nice benefits. Uh, they have been nerfed quite a bit throughout the bear market to ensure the sustainability of them. But pretty much for anything from Royal Indigo and Jade Green upwards, I personally do believe is still worth it depending on how much you use the card. And then as well as Crypto.com Pay over here in which you are given some pretty juicy cashback incentives depending on your Crow stay. So you are actually given 10% here in return if you send up to $50 worth of crypto to your friends and any gift card purchases, you're going to get a 10% rebate for food and beverages, 5% rebate for taxi groceries, and a 2.5% rebate for travel needs such as retails, hotels, airlines, gas, and diesel. Now, in addition here, the Crypto.com exchange does actually incentivize people to stake your crow for some very juicy benefits in terms of trading rebates. So depending on how much crow you have actually staked on the Crypto.com exchange, you are going to be given either 0% fees or even a rebate here if you are staking over 100,000 crow. So you can see here that they are trying to incentivize people to lock up their crow on the platform for these benefits, therefore creating some sort of correlation between the amount of crow users sorry, the amount of crypto.com users and the amount of people that are holding Crowcoin. And some basic math here, if we actually go over to coin market cap and take a look at the, the current circulating supply of Crow, which I do believe is sitting at 25.2 billion. So let's say that crypto.com does hit that 100 million user mark this year, which I do think is achievable with a circulating supply of 25.2 billion. That is enough for every individual that has a crypto.com main app, assuming they want to own some Crow to only have 252 crow in their wallet and this obviously already excludes the whales holding millions of crow the people holding hundreds of thousands or thousands of crow and you guys can see where i'm going with this why the actual growth of the crypto.com platform could also be very beneficial for the price action of crow coin itself and the growth here for crypto.com does in fact speak for itself we can see here based on my tweet back on november 11th that crypto.com had a total of 1.43 billion in customer assets and uh, now we're going to take a look here at what they are doing today in terms of customer assets and that is currently sitting at 3.63 billion so up from 1.4 billion to 3.63 billion in the matter of about a three month time period at a time here in a two month time period actually let's say two and a half months at a time when these trust in centralized exchanges is pretty much at all time lows in terms of sentiment uh, due to the collapse of Celsius Voyager FTX I mean you can't blame people for not trusting these centralized entities yet crypto.com has done a great job of pretty much over doubling almost getting 150 percent more tvl on their platform so i think that this does prove their strategy of regulatory compliance and being the leader in security has definitely worked so far in gaining trust in the community and this is the amount of people implementing or rather like putting assets on their platform in a bear market think about what this might look like in a bull run when we have more people fomoing into the markets signing up for new crypto accounts moving their funds on to different crypto platforms i think this is when crypto.com is really going to experience a lot more of that growth now we did also see here that crypto.com exchange is still offering zero percent trading fees on select usd pairs 
and the exchange here is not to be confused with the main app this is more so like their trading application more for more advanced crypto traders i'll say for people who do trade more often as they do offer some better trading fees but they don't offer a lot of the other things that the crypto.com main app does like the visa so think of the crypto.com main app like your all-in-one kind of like crypto bank right you have crypto.com pay where you can buy gift cards you have your visa and then the crypto.com exchange is where you want to do more of your trading for those better fees and you can see here that it actually was announced back in i think it was back in november that they were doing a promotion here that they were offering zero percent trading fees on eligible trading pairs like bitcoin to usd ethereum polka dot solana xrp avalanche Chainlink, matic cardano shiba inu and dogecoin and this was supposed to be a holiday special here and it is still in fact going on i mean christmas has passed new year's has passed and they're still offering zero percent trading fees on their platform i think really trying to get more total value locked on the crypto.com exchange and show people why this is a platform that you do want to use so in my opinion the longer that they do keep these zero percent trading fees here on the crypto.com exchange the better for that customer acquisition and i think it would be really smart if they did this once again coinciding with their u.s launch which i really do hope is going to happen at some point later this year now we do need to get into the piece of bad news and this is the trip it was one of the first nft projects to launch on crypto.com's nft platform and uh this is not a crypto.com project themselves it is rather a third party project that crypto.com did allow to list on their nft platform and they put a tweet out here saying mush love on january 18th of 2023 and then you read the letter here and they pretty much say that they are completely rug pulling their community they say here since time since launch we have dedicated our time to building this project and growing our community we are pleased with our launch blah 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 since then we have been tirelessly working behind the scenes i call bull unfortunately we have no choice but to announce that we are shuttering the future expansion of this project and they do blame this pretty much on their lack of venture capitalist funding to continue operating here this has not been an easy decision but we wanted to be respectful and transparent as possible with you by bringing the project development to a close at this time um yeah i mean it even says here on their initial roadmap there was supposed to be a community chest that was supposed to keep a portion of funds from the mint and royalty and uh yeah you can pretty much see right off the bat that it was just a very fancy way of saying that yes they are effectively rug pulling their community completely now obviously the comments here were not happy whatsoever and i mean you can't really be surprised right they had all these things promised in fact you can even see here on january 7th they said only up from here with three rocket emojis i mean right off the bat any project talking about themselves like that i probably would not trust right off the bat but uh yeah you guys can see here that they were pumping their own project on january 7th and 11 days later they pulled the rug on their community now if we actually go and take a look on the crypto.com nft platform you can see here that it now has a floor price of eight dollars and crypto.com has in fact flagged the project saying they're currently under investigation crypto.com nft recommends proceeding with the utmost caution in buying and selling nfts from this collection until the investigation has concluded now following them actually going ahead and posting this this letter getting a lot of obviously very negative feedback from the community we actually saw them then post a medium article two days later on january 20th and they said here after internal discussions we understand now why the announcement made by us throughout our discord and on our twitter may have been taken out of context as owners it was never our intention to completely stop the further development of the tripped project but in fact pause for the time being until we were able to consolidate and put a new plan to hopefully save the future of this project i mean they literally said in the letter that they were shuttering the future development so i don't know how that was misinterpreted whatsoever and they say here i want to read this as well where did they say uh, okay, so they said here we shut down the Discord after our announcement on January 18th, the same way we shut it down for the Origin Mint on April 22nd of 2022. With the community in mind, as we know emotions could run high during these times, and we wanted the community to fully digest the announcement. So they announced they were pulling the rug on January 18th, and then they shut down the Discord. But they didn't do that for themselves. They did that for you guys because they know that emotions are running high. Like, give me a break. So personally, I don't buy anything that happened in this 
this letter, I mean, they should have just, or in this second letter, honestly, I think that their first letter to pretty much pull the rug is their true intention. I would not be surprised if you don't even hear from this team again following this Medium article right here. And I do just want to clarify here that the trip is not a project owned by Crypto.com. This is actually a project that Crypto.com allowed to list on their NFT platform. And this kind of does raise the other thing here where compared to OpenSea, which actually is an open marketplace where anybody can list and create their very own NFTs for people to buy. And I do just want to clarify here that the trip is not a project owned or created by Crypto.com. This is a third party project that Crypto.com did allow to list on their platform. And this does kind of raise another point that I do want to mention in terms of how Crypto.com does actually do their selection for these NFT listings. So something like OpenSea is actually an open marketplace where anybody can create and list their own NFTs. And if somebody wants to buy your NFTs, they can. If somebody does not want to buy your NFTs, they do not have to. Whereas Crypto.com actually handpicks the artists that are allowed to ha have their drops on this platform. And honestly, I think they need to completely get rid of this and just make the Crypto.com NFT platform an open marketplace. Open marketplace, sorry. Because clearly the projects they are handpicking here, I mean, I don't know what they do to investigate these projects before they allow them to list. But obviously, whatever they have done is not working because now even a project they themselves handpicked to list on the platform has rug pulled their community. So I think they need to completely scrap that and actually just make crypto.com nft an open project just an open marketplace for anybody to list their projects on now we're going to wrap this up here talking about argo finance who has officially announced their upcoming metaverse game making its way to the chronos chain so argo finance here started off as a liquid staking solution on the chronos chain we did actually cover this project very very soon after it did actually drop because the liquid staking can be beneficial to people who are actually using a DeFi to sort of gain additional yield with their liquid staked crow so it's very simple here i mean Now, we're going to wrap this up talking about Argo Finance as they have officially announced their upcoming metaverse game that is going to be coming to the Kronos chain. So Argo Finance is a project that we covered pretty soon after they had launched on Kronos and it is in fact a one-click liquid staking solution which does effectively allow you to stake your crow to get your B crow in return which is bonded crow and this bonded crow is netting you a 10.76% APY. Now you can simply take your crow through the crypto.org chain and earn about a 10.85% APY but the reason that liquid staking is beneficial here is because when you actually lock up your crow via the crypto.org chain you cannot do anything else with it right it is locked up there earning that yield and if you do want to get your crow back you have to go through a 28 day unbonding period now what you can do here with bonded crow while you are getting that 10.76 percent is go to your different d5 vaults and actually use this bonded crow that is already netting you that 10 plus percent apy put it in a liquidity pool with some other crow here and earn an additional 9.85 percent apy or apr here sorry so effectively stay your crow to get bonded crow which is already earning you a yield and then double dipping that bonded crow by locking it up here with more crow in a liquidity pool for an additional 9.85 percent apr these are the benefits of liquid staking if you do go ahead and then stake your liquid tokens elsewhere to earn some additional yield so that is how argo finance began and then they actually went ahead and launched their very own nft project here the argonauts which do allow you to stake your argonauts to actually get a boosted apr so very interesting concept of having a liquid staking solution and then offering NFTs to boost your staking yields. And now they are further kind of like bolstering the utility of this NFT project with the announcement of Atlantis. So they start off this Twitter thread saying, Introducing Atlantis, the next step of the Argonauts journey into the gameverse. Atlantis is the biggest Argo expansion into gaming and expands massive utility for the Argonauts. Let's dive right in. What is Atlantis? A new universe of games centered around the Argonauts and other new key assets. This marks our official expansion for the Argo fam toward the next paradigm of play to earn and play and own. Gameplay. There are two core game loops in the Atlantis gameverse, both of which deeply involves Argonauts in the game loop and caters to both passive and active players. 1. Planet Expedition. 2. Spaceships Racing. 
three key assets we are introducing some new and old assets to the game so there are five main assets here one is planets and gemstones two is spaceships three is spaceship equipment four is resources and five is argonauts there is much to unpack, but these are the key assets used to earn in this game. So how do I play? With a combination of planets and Argonauts, players are able to generate the necessary materials required to level up or upgrade their spaceships. These spaceships are then capable of earning players rewards based on their speeds amongst other factors. Planets, spaceships, and equipments. Planets are resource lands, producing resources needed to play and earn in this game. And I'll actually show you guys the Medium article here which does have pictures of each of these. So here are the planets. There is fire, steel, and lightning. Now, spaceships are prize earners racing for even larger portions of revenue or resource rewards. And you guys can see how the spaceships look here, as well as the ability to actually upgrade your equipment parts to further boost the speed of your spaceship. The equipments are items used to make spaceships faster and more competitive. Now, in terms of resources and Argonauts, X-Argo, Stardust, Gold, and Gemstones are the lifeblood resources of Atlantis to be won and used in the ecosystem. Argonauts are the game changers and force multipliers, and applying boost to both spaceships and planets when staked. Game theory, whilst this seems straightforward at first, no one has unlimited resources and time, and as such, players have to choose how best to focus their efforts and time on the game. Planet expedition, race, where to use their Argonauts, reinvest spaceship winnings. So how do I get started with this? Relax Argo fam, this is just the beginning. Go ahead and take your time to read and digest the medium post. The team will soon be doing deep dive threads into each segment of the game with more information on some of these new assets. Watch this space next up planet mint so if you guys do want a more in-depth review of this entire medium article please check out tuesday's video that is where you break all this down a little bit more in depth and go through the entire medium article there is definitely i mean it sounds like there is tons to unpack here and this is something i will be keeping my eye on and sort of looking to see as the argo team does continue to announce and really dive in deeper to a lot of the different components of this upcoming metaverse game now we're going to wrap this up here taking a look at both the crypto.org chain and the chronos chain the two native blockchains to chronos coin and you guys can see at the moment that we have about 5.333 billion crow staked up via the crypto.org chain which represents over 20.5 percent of all crow circulating right now that is effectively currently being staked for that 10 plus percent yield now this is very impressive considering here that as of december 22nd we were sitting at 5.22 billion in terms of the crow locked up here so about an additional 100 million crow has been locked up in the past month and a bit and in terms of the chronos chain here we are looking at a tvl of 413 million crow now this or sorry 413 million usd in value and if we actually go ahead and see how this does rank chronos chain in comparison to other chains chronos is currently sitting in 10th place at the moment it is ahead of mixin in 11th place by let's say just about 60 million dollars here and also behind solana by about 90 million which is currently in ninth place so chronos chain is still hanging in here in terms of the top 10 10 in terms of TVL amongst all different blockchains with a total value locked of about 5.06 billion crow right now circulating on Kronos. So without further ado, I hope you guys did enjoy the content in today's video. You know what to do. If you made it all the way to the end, you are an absolute champion. Let me know in the YouTube comments down below and claim that champion status. I hope you are all having a peaceful and restful Sunday. I am wishing you all an amazing week ahead and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out for now.